A prism is a shape that's the same the whole way through. In this first example, we've got a triangle on the front. And if you cut through this shape at any point, you would find exactly the same triangle. So it's the same triangle the whole way through. To find the volume of a prism, we find the area of the shape on the front. So the area of the shape on the front and multiply it by how far back it goes. So in this case, we're going to find the area of the triangle and then multiply it by 20. The area of a triangle is base times height divided by two or half base times height. So half times four times eight, which is the same as two times eight, which is 16. And the area is in centimeters squared. We measure area in squares. So the shape on the front has got an area of 16 centimeters squared. So to find the volume, we're doing 16 times 20. 16 times two is 32 and add the zero on the end, so 320. It's volume, we measure volume in cubes, so it's 320 centimeters cubed. There's a question for you to try here, so give it a go. We're gonna find the area of the front shape and multiply it by how far back it goes. So we've got a rectangle, and five times six is 30. The area of a rectangle is just length times width. And that's in meters squared. And to find the volume, we're gonna take 30 and multiply by four. So 30 times four, three fours are 12, add the zero on the end, 120 meters cubed. Here are some different shapes, but we're still following the same steps. We're going to find the area of the front and then multiply by how far back it goes. To find the area of the front this time, we can split into two different shapes. So we've got two rectangles here. We've got a four times five. Four times five is 20. And so the whole length is nine. We've got four up to here, so this must be five centimeters. Five centimeters and four centimeters make nine centimeters. So this second rectangle has got an area of seven times five, which is 35. So we've got four times five plus five times seven, which makes 55 centimeters squared for the area of the front, the area of the cross section. So we've got 55 multiplied by how far back it goes, which is eight. So 55 times eight, 50 times eight will be 400. Five times eight will be 40. So we've got 440 and it's in centimeters cubed. Okay, one for you to try, so give it a go. So there are different ways of looking at the shape on the front. We can see it as a rectangle with a triangle cut out of it. So the total rectangle is six times eight, which is 48 centimeters squared. And the triangle cut out of it so the whole length along here is eight. The top bit is five, so it's three along. And we've got six all the way up, two up to the start of the triangle. So six take away two is four. So the area of this triangle that's been cut out is half of three times four. And that is six. Three times four is 12, half of that is six. 
So the area of the front is 48 take away 6, which is 42 centimetres squared. So the volume is the area of the front, which is 42, times how far back it goes, which is 15. So 42 times 15. 42 times 10 is 420. Half of that is 210. So 42 times 5 is 210. So 420 plus 210 is 630 centimetres cubed. And this time we've got a trapezium on the front. Again, we're going to find the area of the front and multiply by how far back it goes. So the area of a trapezium is half the sum of the parallel sides. So half of 5 plus 9 times the distance between them, so times 4. Half the sum of the parallel sides times the distance between them. And that is, so 5 plus 9 is 14. Half of 14 is 7. So it's 7 times 4, which is 28 centimetres squared. So the area of the front is 28 centimetres squared. I'm going to multiply that by how far back it goes, which is 8. So it's 28 times 8. 20 times 8 is 160. 8 times 8 is 64. So we've got 224 centimetres cubed. And one for you to try, so give it a go. Again, we've got a trapezium. So we're going to half the sum of the parallel sides and times the distance between them. So that's half of 18 times 6, which is 9 times 6, which is 54 centimetres squared. So we've got 54 centimetres squared times 5, the area of the shape on the front times how far back it goes. So 54 times 5, 54 times 10 is 540, half of that will be 270 centimetres cubed. And here are some worded questions. The question says, a container is in the shape of a cuboid. The container is going to be filled from a tap. Water flows from the tap at a rate of three litres per second. How long will it take for the container to be filled completely? So we need to work out the volume of the container. So the volume of the container is going to be the area of the front times how far back it goes. So the area of the front is 40 times 50. Four fives are 20. Add the two zeros on the end. So 2000 centimetres squared is the area of the front. Then we're going to times how far back it goes. So it's going to be 2000 times 60. Two sixes are 12. And we've got one, two, three, four zeros. So we've got 120,000 centimetres cubed. Now, we know that water flows in at 3 litres per second. To change from centimetres cubed to litres, we divide by 1,000. 1,000 centimetres cubed is 1 litre. 1,000 centimetres cubed is 1 litre. So that means we've got 120 litres. It flows in at three litres every second. How long does it take to be filled? So we've got 120 litres. Three litres are filled per second. So 120 over three. 12 over three is four. And add the zero. So 40 
seconds. 40 seconds with three liters in every second is going to make 120 liters. And one for you to try. So again, we've got a container in the shape of a cuboid and we need to find the capacity, the volume of it in liters. So the area of the front, 50 times 60, five times six is 30, multiply by 10 twice. So 3000 centimeters squared is the area of the front times how far back it goes. So times 30, three threes and nine, multiplied by 10 four times. So we've got 90,000 centimeters cubed. Give your answer in liters. So to convert from centimeters cubed to liters, we're going to divide by a thousand. So that's 90 liters. And to finish up, we've got two questions. So pause the video and give them a go. Find the volume of the prism for question one. So it's the area of the shape on the front times how far back it goes. So we've got five times nine divided by two. So half of five times nine is the area of the shape on the front. Five nines are 45. And half of 45, I'm just going to write as 45 over two. So it's 45 over two, it's 22.5 is a decimal, but that isn't gonna help us. So 45 over two centimeters squared is the area of the front. And we're gonna times that by how far back it goes. So it's gonna be 45 over two times 12. And I'm gonna simplify this by saying, because I'm dividing by two, that's the same as halving what I'm timesing by. So it's 45 times six. 45 divided by two times 12 is the same as 45 times six. 45 doubled is 90, and then 90 times three is 270. So six 45s, 270, and it's in centimeters cubed. We measure volume in cubes. And question two, we've got a trapezium. So the area is half the sum of the parallel sides. So half of nine plus 13 times the distance between them. Nine plus 13 is 22. So half of 22 times five which is 11 times five, which is 55. So the area of the shape on the front is 55 centimeters squared. We're gonna times that by how far back it goes, which is six. So 55 times six, 50 times six is 300. Five times six is 30. So we've got 330 centimeters cubed.